Hello, my name is Ray Chambers and in this demo I'm just going to show you quickly how you can work with depth data. And you can download this sample free so that you don't have to go from scratch so that you can just start playing around with the variables a little bit. Now what I have here is just my video, which you can move anywhere. And when I press play, you'll notice what I currently have is, is picked up the depth data. Now if I go forward, okay, it changes white and as I come back it changes colour. So what you could do is actually play around with it and have it change in different colours. So the first thing I'm going to show you if I stop this is in the existing code if you scroll down until you find the distance data this is where you can change all your colors so for example if I'm very close that's going to be white I might change this to 12 and if I'm even further back I might want this to be let's have another color 200 so now if I run it you'll see the difference in the colors so there's the play button as I get closer again it turns white and so on now if I stop that I'm just going to show you quickly how you can actually color your player as well. So if you want it to detect your player and display them all in red for example, all you'd need to do, so I'm going to do this here, if get player index depth data, because we're using the depth data, depth index open our brackets if it's greater than zero so if we have more than one player we're going to pick our colors now and the great thing about this is you can just copy and paste the layout from one of the ones above so I'm going to change one of these to zero and one of these to one two three so we have a completely different color so now when I step in front of the connect it should activate me and you'll see that I've changed to this color so if I play this now so what we have is the same colors but if I stand up now you can see it's activated and it's picked me up now if I step out of the picture you'll notice that I'm not activated so I haven't changed colour. If I come back into it, it picks up my skeleton and changes the colour of me. Now the other thing I'm going to show you is how you can actually make it monochrome. So this is all to do with playing with the intensity. So if I started off by going var intensity equals calculate intensity from depth I want to use the distance now this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my color frames again but what I'm going to do is just change this to intensity Now, what this will do is change this to monochrome, but it will still keep my person to the bluey color that I've chosen here. So if I press play, so you can see everything is all monochrome now, but I'm still activated. And you can get more of an idea of the picture of what the area looks like.
Now if I stop this now, now you can do a lot with this depth data. For example, if the distance was greater than 100, you could have something else. And you could sort of make up a picture just by playing around with the colours for each difference. So I could do 100, 200, 300, 400, and so on. Now, what I'm going to try and show you in my next tutorial is how you can actually do events based on how close your hand is to the connect and how far back your hand is from the connect. And this is actually playing with the different values such as X, Y, and Z. Um, look out for that tutorial soon. I hope this one has been useful. Uh, if you just look at the comments on the YouTube video underneath, you should be able to download the sample file from there. Thank you for watching.